What is up guys, this is Linthio coming at you today with an updated version of my quick draw slash synchron deck. Now I know a lot of people have been asking for this, apologies it took a little bit longer. Um, mainly because I lost some cards, I lost my ulti glow bulb, I have no idea where it is, it's around my room somewhere, I've literally gone through everything. And um, yeah, I couldn't find it, so shout outs to iPokemon Isaraj, he's lent me his. Uh, so I can do it. So make sure to go check him out. So without further ado, we have the three quick draw synchron. Don't say too much about this. It's one of the main cards of the deck. Um, <clears throat> and it's just so good. You know, <laughs> discarding cards is always decent. Um, so yeah, quick draw is one of your main cards. <laughs> Funny thing with this is that you can technically run um, Cyber Dragon Nova <laughs> if you want with two of these. And then you can overlay to infinity. But it just takes up too much space. And you already have no space in this deck. So... I might have done that. It would have been funny, wouldn't it? Uh, next up, we have the three Junk Synchron. One of your main cards. You know, it's, it's just the main thing to get your combos going. You want to try and open with him. Um, and just in general, he is really, really solid. No changes there. Same with this. We have the three Jet Synchron. He is just so good. Being able to discard a card to bring him back. Uh, being able to search out a Synchron monster. Um, oh, sorry, a Junk monster. Which is normally only this bad boy. Um, it's just, again, so good when it's used as a synchro material. So, everything like that is just so good. You don't need to say too much about it. Because I'm sure people will know how this deck runs. Next up, we have the three Doppel Warrior. Doppel Warrior is a really key card in the deck. Because it means that you can extend your plays nicely. Um, and, yeah, don't need really to say, again, too much about it. You could technically run two if you so wish. But with Rota going to one in the previous list, it kind of hurts. So... That's why we uh, That's why we run three. Next up, we have three level eater. Now, I have bumped it up to three. I was originally playing two in previous builds, and I've had to put it up to three just because... Uh, I'm, it's it's more... I've not realized you need it, but it's it's such a painful experience when you don't have it um, in your graveyard. So that's why I've got it at uh, three with, you know, multiple discarding effects and all that. It's not difficult to get it in there, and, you know, you can get kind of lucky if you want to use it, if you manage to mill it with, like, tuning or anything like that. Um, so yeah, but three level eater are still really good. One mathematician, mathman's good. Um, you know, it's it's just a standard foolish burial. It's it's yeah, normal really. If I'm completely honest, you play it because it's it's good, and it nets you draws. One spell striker. I actually really like spell striker simply because it gives me access to things like a rota, and um, I can basically play uh, rota, get this, and then instantly banish the rota for a another target. Um, so yeah, it's 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 pretty good. Next up, we have the Performer Pal. Not Performer Pal, sorry, the uh, Brilliant Fusion Engine. So, Gem Knight Laruzzi and also the uh, Trick Clown. So, I'll do these together. So, obviously, I am playing the Gem Knight uh, little engine here for uh, Brilliant Fusion. Um, the reason why I've gone with this instead of like Garnet or any of the other vanillas, simply because he's a level 1. Um, it works with um, like with Junk Warrior and all these things. So it's or junk synchron. It's it's just really actually much better than a level four that's just in the grave. You can't really do much with. At least this is a target uh, that you can bring out if you really need a one. You can do one for one. Not sure why you would do that, but it's just an example. Um, and yeah, so it's really good. And obviously then trick land. Trick land's one of the main ones you want to send to the graveyard. Um, but there are other cards you can send to the graveyard if you so wish. Um, you know there are just in general other lights you can send like an effect veiler or you can send anything like that. Um, but normally normally you will be just sending the Performer Paltry Clown um, for extended plays, and also it's an easy access to rank uh, level 5 Synchros as well, because, you know, he's level 4 and you have lots of level 1 tuners. Next up, we have the 1 um, Glow Bulb. Again, thank you to iPokemon Eye for lending me this. Uh, really useful, and it's uh, it's much better than mine. Anyway, his is a German first ulti. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Um, yeah, again, Glow Bulb. Don't really say too much about it, to be honest. Next up, we have the two Maxi. Maxi is really good. Um, he's a nice target for Junk Synchron. Um, and yeah, it's 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 Maxi. And similarly, we have two Effect Veiler. Again, don't really say too much about these guys. It, it The hand traps, and they're just good. Um, if you want me to explain why I play them, <clears throat> then I can. But it's, it's more the fact that they're just good with the meta. This is a level 1 tuner if you need it in the graveyard. This is level 2 non-tuner, which I said can be brought back with Junk Synchron. Um, and just both put pressure on the player. So, yeah, that's why I run them. 
And then finally for the monsters, we have the one Black Luster Soldier. BLS is always repping in this build just because it's so, so good. It steals you games, it enables you to OTK. Yeah. Going on to the spells, we have the three tuning. This card is really good. Uh, add a synchron from your uh, monster from your deck to your hand and then send the top card of your deck to the graveyard once you have shuffled. Really good. You know, it's one of the key search cards of the deck. You don't really say too much about it. Uh, send in like a level eater or a gloat bulb with the second effect or the cost is just so good. Um, and I do love it, but I'm normally never not that lucky, <laughs> which is funny. Next up, we have the three Brilliant Fusion. Brilliant Fusion's here, obviously, because I'm running this little engine. It works really well, um, and especially if you just keep it to minimal amount. Normally, by the time you've gone off and drawing further, um, any Brilliant Fusion cards that you draw dead will actually still be decent. So, um, yeah, you can arguably run something like Jar of Avarice as a one-off as well, if you so wish, if you want to recycle stuff back in to make the others live. But it's completely down to yourself. I personally don't. Uh, so yeah, it's working really well. It adds a bit more speed since the perform since the um, the clown engine's basically dead because you can't really run it. Uh, next up, two twin twister, one of your other discard outlets, uh, and just back row removal. You know we don't like back row, and if there is lots of back row uh, in the format, if you go against like burning abyss, back row hate or anything like that, yeah. The one instant fusion. Uh, this is for Norden, simply only for Norden. That's that's it. Uh, the one one for one again discard fodder bring out your level one it's quite nice and um, just makes sense really the one foolish burial sending anything like gloat bulb or your trick line if you're really desperate for anything like that to the graveyard is a good one soul charge because you can make broken plays uh, with this card really uh, makes sense the one reinforced to the army as i said we have a lot of warriors in here doppel warrior spell striker junk synchron all really good um unfortunately you can only play one and then finally, we have two Gravity Collapse now. A little bit of history with this. Um, occasionally, I well, more than occasionally, I am on the Pojo forums. If you don't know what that is, I'm sure you'll find it if the Pojo Yu-Gi-Oh side. Um, and I like to look at all the strategy threads because it's really interesting. I get lots of ideas from all of them that I can build on myself. And one of the people, I cannot remember who it is. Uh, if you are watching, feel free to shout out who it is. But someone brought this card up and I was like, huh, this is interesting. So Gravity Collapse is from Star Strike Blast. It's a counter trap. Activate by sending one face-up synchron, uh, synchron monster you control to the graveyard. When your opponent uh, special summons a monster, negate the summon. Destroy that card. Your opponent cannot summon a monster until the end phase of this turn. So it completely locks down your opponent. So it's really, really good. It's really nice. You spit out uh, synchro monsters in this deck like nothing. It gives you an... Um a bit more of protection if, for example, you're under like a max C or an effect veil or anything like that. It allows you to stop comfortably and be able to <clears throat> protect yourself. So that's why I really like it. It gives you a, a plan B. Um, I kind of thought about playing three, but because the reason I don't play a three is simply because it doesn't negate pendulum summons or um, if there are more than two monsters or just in general multiple summons. So, because it says monster, it doesn't say monsters. If it said monsters, I'd probably run it at three and realize why hadn't I seen it before. Um, <clears throat> you might argue that this is a bad card. Why are you running it? It's it's honestly really been doing well in testing, if I'm completely honest. Um, and it, it was a really good shout from the guys on Pojo, so shout out to them. Um, but yeah, so in general, Gravity Collapse is really, really nice. And it's been working pretty well. I honestly didn't expect it to work. I tried it and was like, whoa, this is working. This is weird. So, yeah. Going on to the extra deck, we have the one shooting Quasar Dragon. Quasar is one of the main aims for this deck. If you can get that, and it's kind of worth it. Um, next up, we have the one Trishula Dragon of the Ice Barrier, my beautiful ulti baby, because uh, I love it so. The one Cypher M Omega to put any, say, banished cards back into the, um, into the graveyard. You know, for BLS or anything like that. But also, it's more just taking cards out of your opponent's hand is really nice. And it's just paving the way for a nice 2-8 beta. Uh, Scrap Dragon, free pops with level eater is always nice. Clear Wing. Clear Wing is just absolutely amazing. I love this card. And when uh, Crystal Wing comes out in the next set, it's going to be an absolute staple for this deck. One Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon. This is here just for the uh, Cosmo matchup or anything like that. It's just a really nice card uh, to be able to use. One Stardust Charge Warrior. Finally, I have a decent level 6. 
that I can use at multiple times. So this is the only level 6 that I run. Um, but if you don't know what it does, it's basically when it's Synchro Summoned, you can uh, draw a card. And then you can attack all your opponent's monsters once. Um, so yeah, it's really good. It's really nice. It looks oddly nice in the gold secret. I know it's weird for me to say that because I don't normally like it. But yeah, it's pretty good. So it's nice. Um, some nice little combos you can do with this, for example, are like um, <clears throat> if you already had like Librarian out or something, you can go into this. Uh, you can draw like two. You can keep drawing. Um, <clears throat> you can level eater it. All this stuff. It's just really, really good. So... I may or may not do another combo video, I'm not sure. Let me know down in the comment section below if you want it, or I might just do a dual video instead. Um, TG Hype Librarian, staple card. Probably should go to two now, it's a bit old. Jet Warrior, great card. <clears throat> uh, by the way, if people didn't realise how I was summoning this, obviously use Jet Synchron. Um, yeah. Excel Synchron, great card. Again, another staple, you need to run it. Don't play any level fours, just because there's no space in this one. Level 3, Tatsunoku, uh, again, card's really good, um, being able to get like dead, um, level eaters out of my hand, or anything dead out of my hand is really good, because you can use one of the synchro materials from your hand, so that's nice. 2 formula synchron, obviously this makes sense, it's a formula synchron basically deck, you know, um, 3 is a bit too cloggy and you don't have the space. Um, it's not cloggy, but it's just you don't have the space is what I mean, sorry, um, and you don't normally resolve more than 2 in a match anyway. The one Gem Knight, and finally the one Elder Entity Norden, because, you know, I'm running Instant Fusion and the Gem Knight engine, so, yeah. So, that is it, guys. That is the deck profile. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of it. Apologies, you had to wait so long. Um, as I said, I was trying to find the cards, but they just vanished. Um, luckily, I've got a new box that I can sort stuff in for decks. So that's what I'm going to do to keep it all together. So, as I said, that is it, guys. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of the deck. If you have any uh, hints, tips, changes, let me know down there. And I should catch you guys later. Thank you.